Hello guys, welcome back to another Shopify tutorial and in today's tutorial we are adding custom field in our Shopify product page. So that's how the custom field will look like and you will be able to add this custom field on a specific product. So if you want this field to be displayed only on one single product, you can do that. Also, if you want this field to be specifically show on one single collection and that collection have like 10 or 20 products, you can do that as well. And this field will be able to pass on the value to your cart. So if you fill it up and click on add to cart, you can see that field value has been passed to your cart. Also, it will show up on your checkout page. So if I click on checkout page, you can see that the field value has been passed on to your checkout page. So without getting any more delay, Let's get into the code. So guys, first step is to log in to your Shopify backend. And after logging in, click on online store. And then edit your code by going to actions and then edit code. Make sure to duplicate your theme before editing it so you won't disturb your live website. Okay, now click on edit code. And here we'll search for product main dash product dot liquid file. Click on that. And now search for end form. So this is the place where we'll be adding our custom code, which is line number 430. And this is the code which we'll be adding for our custom field. Don't worry about the code. I'll put the link in the description where you can find all the codes and a detailed blog post about whatever code I used in this video. So I'm going to paste this code and it's safe. And if I go back to my online store, go to the product page and check out any of the product, we have the field showing up. Don't worry about the positioning. You can change the position of the field within the form. So you can add in this field between line, between line number 405 to line number 430. So we have our field showing up. Now, if we test the field, by adding a test name we can see that it's working fine and it's populating the field value to our cart page and if we go to our checkout page we can see that the value has been passed to the checkout page as well now what if we want to display this field only in one single product what if there's a product where we need a custom field only in that specific product? We can do that by adding an if condition. So I'm going to go back to my shop and check out the second product which we have. So if we open that product, we can see that the same field is showing in that product as well because it's been globally applied and we can see this field on all of the products in our Shopify store. Now, we'll add a little code snippet to make this field only showing up on this product. Now, let's go back to our main dash product dot liquid file. And the code which we added, just add in an if condition. If product title equals to our product name. I'll add the product name under inverted commas and I'll end if let's align this code. So we'll make it more
readable. Okay. Now I close our if condition by adding an end if. So this field will show up only if this condition is true. And what is our condition? If product title is equal to. Now we will copy the product name from here and paste it under inverted commas. Now hit save. And now this field should only be displayed on this product and not the other product which we have on our store. Now let's hit refresh. And go to the other product. So this is the second product which we have on our store. And now, as you can see, we don't have that field showing up in this product because we have defined that this field should only be visible when the product is t-shirt. Now, what if we want to add this field on a specific collection and that collection have like multiple products, 10 and 20 products. Obviously, we don't want to add if conditions for these, these like 20 different products. We would like to have just one condition which will target that specific collection. Let me show you how. Now, I'm going to remove all this code and add in the code which is for the collection. Now, let me make it more readable so it don't confuses us. So that's the code which you will be needing. And now this field will only show up on products which are in new collection. So the collection name is collection title is new collection. Now let's hit save. And let's go back to our product page and hit refresh. Now this field is showing up on this product. Now let's check out if this product is in new collection. Okay, so that's the product. And when we go to edit that product, we can see that this product is marked as new collection. Now let's remove the new, uh, let's remove this product from new collection. Hit save. And now let's go back and hit refresh. Here we go. So the field is now not visible on this product. And now let's check out the other product which we have on our store. Okay, so this field is not visible to any of these product. Now let's create a new product and add that product in the new collection. Black t-shirt. So I'm creating a sample product for you guys to show how it will work. Product active. Now add this product in new collection. Add a dummy price and hit save. Now, if we go and visit this product, we can see that our field is showing up. But on other products, that field is not showing up, meaning this field will only be showing up on the collection, which is new collection. So you can specify your collection title. You can mention your collection title here. And this field, we display, this field will be displayed only on that specific collection. Sounds cool, right? So one other thing with this field is that, so let me add in the quantity for this product so I can show you guys. There's one problem attached to this field that user can override this field and add the product to cart without filling it up. So if we don't add in any value on this field and click on add to cart, 
it just add the product to the cart without asking the user to input the value of the field. In order to make this field required, what we need to do is go back to the code. At the end of the code, add in required and go on top of the pro on top of the form so where the form is starting here it is line number 405 remove no validate so let me zoom in for you guys so we will remove this no validate code in order to make this field required Okay, now hit save and now go back to a product page and hit refresh. Now if we click on add to cart, you can see that it's asking for asking user to fill out the field. Cool, right? But user can still click on buy it now and add the order of this product without filling this field by clicking on buy it now button. <clears throat> so I'm going back to that product again, which we recently added. And now if I click on buy it now, it just take you to the checkout with the product added to the checkout. So here's the product added, but the field which we need input from user is not available. Now what should we do? There's an easy solution for that. So go to customize, click on online store, and then click on customize. After that, from this drop down menu, Click on products, then default product. And from default product, click on product information. And from there, you can see you have buy buttons element. All you need to do is uncheck this show dynamic checkout buttons. And once you do that, it will remove buy it now button from all of the products. So after hitting save, when I refresh and go to the product page, hit refresh, we don't have buy it now button anymore. Our field is finally required and user will have to add in the input in order to add this product to the cart. Cool, right? So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, comment on the video below and share it. Someone might get benefit from this video. Have a great day.